Okay, well, I'm back working with this double field coil here. And uh, the reason I uh, went back to it was Laser Saber showed another video, uh, posted another video, where he took his rotor and he suspended it. And I figured out what he was doing, I'm pretty sure. Now, he used a screw here, but I'm just using a needle. That's the steel needle. And that's a neodymium magnet right there and it's hanging from that steel needle and that made a very low friction rotor for the stubble field coil so I tried it out and uh, that's the stubble field coil I soaked it again in water and it's weeks old now and still working like a champ and it just runs until that coil dries out then you get it wet again and off it goes again but this setup there was pivotal to making this thing work the way it's supposed to work. Um, the little spinning uh, magnet on a mirror was fine, but it wasn't very reliable. This is reliable right here, folks. And you just put a super lubricant, whatever you've got, between the neo magnet and the needle and uh, make yourself a rotor. And this is what it needs. There's the reed switch. This is what it sounds like here. cutting away but yeah um, go over to Laser Saber's uh, website he's got some neat stuff going on right now he's working on another project but what I'm debating right now is to go ahead and wind the secondary winding uh, I started winding it here then I stopped when I couldn't get this to run uh, reliably I've got the wire but that's about uh, seventeen dollars worth of more wire that should go on that maybe not all of it but these things are expensive. You know, there's no way around it. If you're going to do it right, it, you're going to spend some bucks to do it. And uh, this part of it's dirt cheap, but uh, the proper core, the proper wire, the time invested, the whole thing, it's just not a cheap project. Uh, this is this uh, whole thing right here. Now, these drawings up here, these are without the secondary. This is where I'm at right now. And I'm pretty sure that's a water container that that's sitting in. The one down here has the secondary on it. Now when you get the secondary wound and you can get that to happen, you can trigger voltage bump off of that secondary to light up an LED, which is what he did. So anyway, um, I just wanted to share this uh, latest idea that he had about this free-floating rotor and I'm pretty sure that's what he's doing right now. Now he's not driving it this way in the video but I am doing it off the stubble field. The other thing I wanted to share was uh, he is gone further with these um, air batteries, he's calling them. I'm calling them barber poles, but he's calling them air batteries. And he's wound up a bunch more of these using these carbon rods, and he's lighting the fluorescent off of it. Now, this is huge. If we can get a battery that runs like these batteries I've got right there to produce fluorescent light, that's huge, and he's going full full bore on that one. Now he's using a Jewel Thief circuit, and I think he's using one of these modified uh, Fuji camera circuits. But let me show you uh, what this looks like. That's a volt and a half. And there goes the fluorescent light. Now if you could get that to happen off of these batteries that run on humidity, that's huge because they run for a long, 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 long time. And he's working uh, real hard on that. And I'm going to find out exactly how he's doing his circuit. But that is huge. Now, this circuit here, this would not work. It draws 300 milliamps, which is way more than you're going to pull out of those air batteries. So he's evidently modified that circuit. Now, my little guy here is running just great. This is my little mosquito light that I showed in my last video. And I just got it sitting in a little glass of water. And I would imagine that's just going to run for weeks, literally weeks, before I have to probably uh, replace the magnesium ribbon. But imagine if you could have a fluorescent light that ran for weeks. That would be huge. So anyway, go over to his website. It's um, or not, yeah, not website. It's his channel. I don't think he has a website, but he has a channel. It's Laser Saber here at YouTube. And check out his latest video. 
this was the big find for me right here, was a new way to make that rotor run. Alrighty, thanks for watching. Good luck with these stubble fields. Post a video if you get one running. Thanks.